Now I have a table in front of me, but I want to create another table within Access. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Create, and then I'm going to go to Table. And there you can see I've now created a table, but do I have any fields besides ID that comes up by default? No, I don't. So for that, what am I going to have to do? I can right click on the table itself, or I can go up to View, and I'm going to go into Design View. So the first thing it asks me is, what do you want to save this table as? Now, why is it asking me for this? Simply because I have not saved this table yet. So let's just say this is a test table and I click OK. And do you recognize this view? Yes, this is design view. So this is where I can go and create different fields. So let's just say I'm going to go with first name and then it asks me for a data type. So this refers to the type of data that's going to be entered into this field. Now, because it's called first name, we know that we're going to be typing people's first names in there. So when we look at the data type, you can see we have short text, we have long text, we have number, um, you know, large number, date time. So let's just quickly go through this. Short text is for things like names, surnames, addresses, company names, etc. When we go to long text, this is for data that's going to be longer than 255 characters, which is there by default. Okay, maybe you're going to put in an explanation, things like that, whatever the case is. Number, that's going to deal with numbers that we enter in. Large number. Date and time, that's obviously going to deal with dates and time. Currency is going to deal with monetary values. Our auto number gives us sequential numbers beginning at number one and they are automatically assigned and each one is going to be unique okay so that's why by default you've got id and auto number there on top then our yes and no is for people to choose yes or no as a value in that table and ole object is where i can have graphics photos videos inserted um, hyperlinks which will be web addresses which are linked to maybe a particular document or website and i can then also um, have an attachment so these are the different types of data that could go into a particular field and again depending on what you are doing you will change that data type when i'm done i'm going to go back to data sheet view it's going to ask me to save the changes because i haven't done that i'm going to click ok and now you can see i've created my first field within my new table now if i don't want to create a whole new table and i just want to make changes to an existing one what am i going to do i'm going to double click on my table go to view design view and this is where i make changes to it right to the structure of my table alternatively what i can do is to go here if i need to make changes to any of the records that are inside of my table